In November 2019, a public health crisis struck the world. COVID-19 was spreading like wildfire across the globe. Amid great uncertainties, a lifeline emerged. The first mRNA vaccine for humans was developed in less than a year. It arrested the advance of the pandemic, and a group of dedicated scientists made this miracle possible. One notable person was Dr. Catalin Carrico. Without her, mRNA vaccines would not have been used so quickly. mRNA stands for messenger RNA. It tells cells what their tasks are, such as making proteins. Dr. Carrico and UPenn immunologist Dr. Drew Weissman developed an mRNA that can escape immune surveillance and trigger immune responses. So the body learns how to fight the virus without being exposed to it. However, this revolutionary breakthrough initially received little attention. People had been burned by RNA. It was very, RNA is very difficult to work with. He was the one, he said, listen, you know, the telephone will ring. And of course, uh, nobody called, not 2005, not 2008. Born in Hungary, Dr. Carrico later moved to America. Though she devoted her life to studying mRNA, her lab was forced to close. She was then demoted. During this trying period, she met Dr. Weissman by a photocopier, and their lives were changed. And I introduced myself. I, you know, I like to brag and told him that I am working with RNA. When we started working together, it was Katie and I working at a bench like this, side by side. It was just the two of us. They kept working shoulder to shoulder for more than 20 years. These efforts expedited the arrival of the COVID mRNA vaccines. But one more key player found a way to allow mRNA to enter human cells and deliver its instructions. Dr. Peter Cullis is a pioneer of lipid nanoparticles, which can encapsulate mRNAs that encode specific viral protein and deliver them into certain cells. When the clinical trial results were released, he was rather shocked. I was amazed. Uh, you know, I was hoping that it was going to work. I mean, maybe 70 percent, you know, 95 percent. I, mean, I don't think anybody could quite um, could quite imagine that happening. So, it was that was that was incredible. For people that thought lipids were not that important, well, I think we've shown them wrong. So, <laughs> these three scientists not only saved millions of lives but also ushered in an era of mRNA LMP therapies, and more medical wonders are yet to come.